So we, I think, let's see. Okay, now we're recording. I, I think we got all the way through all the sticks here, if I recall, of Lord I Cried. To, uh, yeah. Did we I get think the last ones really fast? I think we just, yeah, I think we were okay, just... Okay, I have nothing them. written after... Oh, no, I do have something circled there. All right. Yeah, we must... I think we just we just, we just read through them. Yeah, and then I... Four. I think we we went through them pretty quickly, and then I think we got to the glories, and I was like, no, we're not going to do those yet. Yeah. Because that would take us a little bit of time. Right. Um, so maybe we'll read through, like, six and seven, which I think were pretty simple. There were no yeah. scale changes. Um, and then we'll do the glories, six and seven, just to kind of get us back on our feet. Do the glories and then uh, do the <coughs> dogmatic tale at the end, which is a, okay, a that was a long one. Uh, yeah, I think that's a, why you thought that. Yeah, that too. We didn't want to start a new project without the time to do so. Um, all right, so uh, let's sing the scale so I get my computer levels right. Uh, <laughs> Stick here number six. <coughs> <That's still. clears throat> All right. So again, starting from Pa, and we'll just sing this uh, with the words, I guess. Sure. And we'll do it with the words <coughs> since we've since we've already gone through them. Oh. <coughs> Is that cool, Hijan? <laughs> yes. Well, we're okay. on six. Six. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> for thy name's sake, right? Yep. Ananes. <coughs> For thy name's sake have I patiently waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. As we unworthy ones stand before thy the sentence we go back to pa and very often before we finish some sort of full idea it ends up going up to the so if you look let's say on the third line um uh, let's see what note is that well nevertheless uncompassion in the middle of the third line it goes up to the right compassion oh and whenever it does that you know you're gonna do some sort of finishing well, thing. Well. Um, and if you look the same thing at the end, um, since thou art a friend of man, the last line, so we, world since thou art a, a brief, very brief way to hit the, but nevertheless it's there. Um, sometimes you might hear, since, since thou art the, another way to do it. Verse number seven, verse <coughs> number seven. Ananis, from the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. Let us praise the word who Oh, me. 
Giving the Lord? Oh. Uh, we, we have the symbol as also as the. Uh, oh, life giving Lord? That's, that's just your. Oh, oh life giving Lord. Because it's a sharp on. Yes, that's oh. what I was trying to. How does that sound again? Oh, life giving. So. Oh, oh life giving Lord. So we can do it as a full, just just a step down. But if if there's a sharp there, there's a you should sharp it. Yeah. So. Giving <coughs> Lord. Giving Lord. So yeah. Like just so. Subtle. So. Um, hopefully, what I did was subtle, but un, but noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> not, that, not too subtle so that it doesn't exist. But hmm? It's hardly noticeable. <coughs> hardly noticeable the first time. Well, it's one of those things where if you can go. Uh, if you can slide between them, then you should be able to hit something in the middle of it. Technically, according to like the fact that your voice can slide between it, I guess that's true. Um, it's, it's just a matter of slide past nothing like land on it. Yeah, so it's just a matter of being able to tune into something in there. So uh, somewhere, <laughs> yeah. So I think people in other cultures, like especially Indian cultures, would probably be able to would be like, "What? How yeah. can't you do that? It's so easy." But us, no. <laughs> okay, so uh, glory both nouns. Mm-hmm. Let's skip over all those verses. Um, they're just other, mm-hmm. other ones. So we have, I believe, we have three glory both nouns. If you recall from the plagal fourth ones, we have an easy one, we have a an alternate easy one, and then you have the tremendously difficult long one. This was not as difficult as the plagal four one was, because that was kind of intense. I don't know if you remember that. I blanked it all around. Yeah, <laughs> that's the traumatic. It'll, side. It will come back in my dreams though. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a master's program I went through. <laughs> so it'll it'll be Byzantine shit. <laughs> yes. That kind of bad. You've got to have something. Yeah. Yes. So. Um, so is diatonic, chromatic, and traumatic. So <laughs> yeah. Is it traumatic? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Chanter, Chanter's running from the the, the Chanter stand. Know, that look of fright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I uh, we'll do the first glory. Um, we'll do it with with the note names just to to see how it goes. All right. So. Oh, God, oh, God, oh. 
Especially for something short, I guess. Uh, if you notice on the end um, of um, both now and unto, ever and unto the ages of ages, where do we go? We go to the of a. So that's just another thing. Um, okay, let's sing it with the words. <laughs> Glory to the Father. So yeah, you see the the, K, the low K and the low D. So you know you're gonna somehow do something that involves those. But you have to sing it a register lower. Is that it? Oh uh, well, the, the yeah, that's our pa, that's our K, that's our D. But we'll bring it up in pitch because I see the K and the D, and I'm like, I should, <laughs> I should bring that up so we hit that. It'd be nice to sing it. Yeah. So, okay. Everybody cool with <coughs> reading it? Mm-hmm. Ananis, what's our first note? Ga. 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 Now that you've told me, then yeah. no. uh, <laughs> now that people are paying attention, and, um, mm, same with the glory. Mm. That's what I was thinking. Gaga vu. Um, no, I thought it was flat. It was flatter. Flat, yeah. yeah. Oh, flatter. Um, that's a characteristic thing of tone one, especially slow tone one, is whenever you're uh, kind of descending to vu, it goes a little lower, and especially when you're <clears throat> descending past it. Mm-hmm. Um, like, avi gavi gavu. Kind of bring it down mm. a little bit further. Um, not fully flat, but a little further. So, if it weren't flat, it would be But you did gavu. Nope. Or not. What did you do? Ga, 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 That's what you did. Ga, ga, vu. Yeah. Ga, vu, ga, vu. Oh, I think when I, mean, I was thinking. I think when I was doing it with you guys, it was noticeable enough that it was not a Western interval or something, or somehow it was different. Okay. Which. In the zoo, also, you did something. Oh, yeah, I did. um... Panizo kezo. 
Try it. Ni pa ni zo ke. So flat, flat and zo on the way down. So two flats here. Flat on the on the way down, natural on the way up. Because it's the same same type of way that you they work with higher zo. Right. Okay. You don't need to necessarily, but I've heard it done, and I do it. So okay, uh, both now. Anane Nigabu Gadi Gabu Pa Ali Pabu Gabu Pa Buga Kedi Gabu Di Gabu Pa Pa Please. Sure. I got lost somewhere, and I don't know where I got lost. Sure. Probably one of the easier parts. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's, it's up two, with, so. it's up two, but for some reason I'm I'm not getting the two, and it's that's what's. And I had problems yep. earlier too, so there's something about yeah. this particular symbol that's. Okay. Yeah. It says um. Ages of Yeah. Okay. And you get it twice in this one. Mm. <laughs> well. Yeah. I was looking at the second ages. The C is small. So see this. How is that? Is that a fluctuation of the voice, or is how is it supposed to be? I have no idea what, what you would do? do there to make it different. I'm just well, kind of. Do? I'm ignoring it. <laughs> okay, I was wondering what you're supposed That's to. That's my favorite. Technique. Or no, ignoring yeah. it is the best option. Well, it, it, I, I am. Yeah. I'm not ignoring it. I am executing just... my my own opinion of, <laughs> of what I should do. Um, no, there. I, sometimes it's just there for orthographic reasons, like how you would write it, just to the, they're all written in a certain way. Um, that one, I think it might just be a way of connecting those notes together to tell you that even though you're jumping up, you're not going to have a, an accentuated syllable, so you're not going to have anything new. Mm-hmm. So, ages. as opposed to ages of, ages. so, which is which would be wrong. So that's just a little, maybe a helper symbol there, but uh, that would be someone... Maybe an actual chanter would, would you would be able to hear something, but I, a lot of these times, unless it's in a really long piece, they're not articulated, you know. So I ignore it. There, it's nice to see, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything with it. So, glory with now with the words. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, not, uh, glory. myself, so this will be fun for both of us. Uh, so, 
of course the teacher is not supposed to tell you that, but yeah. I'm giving you confidence that <laughs> I'm, I'm a, I may also be sight reading this. Um, do you want to go through with the notes? Do you want me to sing it? Yes. Right. Go through the notes. notes. Okay, cool. Um, it, the, First, is there anything of notice? Uh, the only thing, the end of the second line, I, da, or, da, 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 one triplet, one and two and one, two, one. Yeah, we got those little score ones coming thick and yeah. fast there. And that's, that's, <laughs> we've got the one starting on the, on the beginning of the next line, which is kind of cheating. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's right. You can look ahead of the end of the line and then not, like, all of a sudden. You not realize it. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's where a helpful little arrow to yeah. tell you that there's something else or reading ahead comes mm -hmm. in. Um, no. And that's, that's where you, because you have, uh, at the end of the second line, you have, Polygon, apostrophos, isan. You want to re-articulate that isan. Na. This is where it gets fun. Mm. Uh, or masochistic. Uh, okay. Okay. With the note names. Slowly, slowly. Ah, uh, Not, not terrible, not 
Uh, read it through again or, or go through the words? Or, or should we go to both now? You have many choices. Words. Words? Okay. Words. Glory. what they do in, in the Greek music too. Do like they? yeah it'll be um yeah pnevma t t or some no, somehow it finishes. Um in certain circumstances you can do that. Um in the Trubic hymn you hear this all the time. You hear what exactly? I Oh okay so you're arguing that you get yeah and so yeah, okay. yeah. Gotcha. So, just weird to see that that it there, and then like. You know. Oh, do you, do you mean like where the t goes? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, what, that's yeah. what's throwing me off. Yeah, the t never. Yeah, you don't hear the t. You're basically just saying yeah. 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 Sometimes what they'll do if it's a really long phrase, then you put in parentheses t to let you know what your final yeah. final consonant yeah. is. Because <laughs> by that time yeah, you probably forgotten. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was what was, what the, was other the word again? Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. Um, yeah. The in, goes God, I thought that was just my ADD. <laughs> <laughs> no. In the Greek, oftentimes though, what they'll do is the, if um, if it's a word with a final syllable, they'll actually just write the the vowel, and then on the final one, because they they repeat the vowel over yeah. a lot of the notes. Yeah. And then uh, when they on the final repetition, like on the last note, then they put the little mm. the final consonant. Um, not always, but it it depends. Yes. Can you just do the vigor go again? Just that part. Sure. Uh, I'll start from spirit if that's okay. Anane spirit. Oh, I was yeah. I was, I was just demonstrating. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So. Trying to get that. One trip, one triplet, one triplet, one and one and. Right. Yep. Yep. That's one. I know it's two beats coming out. Okay. One triplet, one and two and Right. I keep counting up. Um, we do it again, or? Yeah. Okay. So we'll read through again slowly, and then maybe we'll do it one time. A little more up to the tempo. Right. Once you're used to it. And on holy in the middle of the second line, um, I went holy, yeah, okay. which is a fine thing to do. Um, you could do holy, mm-hmm. then they'll turn about. Turning, oh, turning guy. Turning. Dun, ba, dun, ba, ba, dun, dun. Okay, so. Ananes, glory.
So, um, <coughs> any, was that better? Yeah, I think so. So, and the the whole of these sounded together. I I really like that. That's the one thing. Eventually, you get um, all the rhythm kind of comes together. Mm -hmm. um, so, even in the midst of complicated things, that everyone sings in the same way. So it's it eventually get to, gets there. Um, sing it uh, a little bit faster, maybe, and then go on to both now. Okay. And that, that was an okay tempo there, but I think it was a little slow, but yeah. it was still fine. So, Ananes, glory to the God. see that written um but then that's classic 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 um both now okay <clears throat> uh, one thing to mention here is on the second line on ages the second ages there is you have your um sharp mm. well you have your diply on the ages so that that note is three beats oh, the, yeah. just the oligon right. um Whenever you do that, at least I was told by two chant two brothers that were chant teachers in Greece. I went and I was they when they found out that I was American and that I knew how to read notation. They were like, "Go sing for us." So then I sang for them, and then they wanted to know why I just why I held the note for three beats. Um, <laughs> like it wasn't this; it was something else, and it was like four beats or or whatever it was. And I was like, "Na da one two three four," and they're like. What was that? You know, do something with it. And I was like, well, what would I do with it? And they said, do something. And then they did something, and they both did exactly the same thing. It was wonderful. I have no idea what they did. Um, so for the moment, I'm going to hold it for three beats. <laughs> so I think that's a, a conservative approach to something that says hold the three beats. Part of the Greek temperament to just do something with something playing, just kind of go with it. Yeah. Is it just, I, I don't know if you saw the whole thread about Anna's raisin cake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's about the whole, you know, well... Just add stuff. Just add stuff, you know, because they know what you should add. You just go with it. And yeah. I'm going, I can't cook like that. What do you mean around 350? Yeah. <laughs> it was the same thing. Hey, you know, just do yeah. something with yeah, it. Yeah, just, just add add some flour until it feels right. Part. Yes. And it's kind of like, well, is this a dense dough? Is this a slack dough? When is it? I've never felt it before. Sorry. You know? Yeah. No, it, I, maybe it is, yeah. yeah. Just do, do what feels, yeah. Feels good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what feels right. Yeah. So... Which is not always the best way to encourage life. Yeah. Um, but in this case, we will not do what feels. <laughs> we'll do what it's written. Um, <laughs> so we'll be American. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. we're American. Yeah. Okay, with the note names. Um, and I think the only thing, um, the the sharp that we we're talking about on ages, I think that's just again on vu, if I recall, and it's just a smaller interval, mm -hmm. so nothing major. Ananes Nipa Ages 
of Amen. Mm -hmm. That's the only real difficult part. So, <clears throat> pa from both now. Mi pa. until the line. Um, right. So we have three beats plus a half and a half, or technically it's three beats plus a third two and two thirds, thirds right. yes. Um, <laughs> but we'll just, we'll just say that. <laughs> Theoretically, it is a third and two thirds. Um, okay, both now? Yep. <laughs> Uh, so that takes one added thing away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, that needs rhythm. And there is rhythm here. Yeah, in particular, the fifth line is fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where I'll tell you that we'll insert a syllable. Um, at least most of the time I do, and my friends do. What do you do? Sorry. Uh, we're, we're, we'll insert it. So, do you see the fifth line? Yeah. Uh, faithful? Mm hmm. The adornment of the faithful. What are you doing? I put an N and an, an, an in there. Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't have to do that. Of the faithful. You can do that sometimes because you're re-articulating it on the eson. It helps to have a consonant. Um, <laughs> You can't. I don't know. There's nothing there. Oh. You, unless you just pulse it yourself. So sometimes. Yeah. And I'll probably guarantee you that. I don't know. That structure is weird, but I don't know. It's, it's well, it is weird. Yeah. It is weird. Um, it's not. It's not akin to Western music at all. No. It's something that Byzantine chant does. They put syllables all over the place. Um, sometimes they put an N. Sometimes they put a he. The just they put a the chi symbol. Uh, sometimes I don't know what else they would put. Uh, but it's there to kind of give the chanter a little bit to help them rearticulate. And it's normally a syllable that's it's not it's not big on sound. So it's not a D. It's not a T. It's not a K. Mm -hmm. mm, it's soft. Right. You know. Same with. He. It's, yeah. it's a soft thing. Um, so it's it's meant to help the chanters where they are, but probably be lost by the time it gets to the people. Um, and I don't think anyone anyone would probably even notice it, or it might be one of those things like, what? But it, they, it passes by that they forget about it immediately. So sometimes it's written in to re-articulate this. Um, I don't think Papa or friend normally writes it in, if he, even if he wants it. Um, so that's one of those things. Okay. Uh, want to look at the hymn anymore, or, or just start with sight reading? That's probably the hardest part of the hymn. <coughs> yeah. At least in my opinion. <coughs> just that one phrase. Okay. Yeah. No names? <coughs> Alright. The universal glory born of men. This is a very popular one, uh, along with the Plagal first one, and this is... The recessional for weddings, as well as the plagal, plagal one, is also the recessional for weddings. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, the traditional one to do. Hmm. I don't know why. I didn't think about it. But, I mean, it, it's a little bit more marchy, so that, like, you know, as a recessional, I guess it works out. Is it just because of the music? I mean, is the... I don't know. I, I'm, I, mean, I mean... If they were singing something else that same tune, would that be the wedding music, you think? Or is it... I don't know. I'm not really sure. I, I don't know why it, why this is it's it, on all the books like the last two hymns are these two dog this this dogmatic Theotokian and the plagal first one so um, they're just there just created a kingdom and I'm gonna go march out and yeah. God's gonna fight for you yeah and take courage yeah mm -hmm. maybe yeah that maybe makes it's sense just I like the rhythm it. Mm -hmm. yeah it could be all Speaking of the above the person who's never been married yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know what I'm talking about no but I think the rhythm maybe yeah. You know, just to, uh -huh. yeah. You know, sung in such a way that people could sort of yeah. orderly, mm -hmm. or, or, orderly yeah. recessional. Yeah. It's very unusual because it's usually not orderly. Yeah. You can just scramble and get out. Of the we'll, we'll, we'll try and make this orderly as possible for ourselves. Uh, Especially uh, in peace and open the kingdom. There's again that yeah. reference to kingdom, so yeah. kind of makes sense. Destroying the wall of enmity. Yeah. yeah. All those things. Anchor of faith in the Lord. So, uh, and I think this one goes up a little high, so hopefully that's not too high, but that's okay. Pa -pa Did we go with V, K, V? I don't think we did. I'm not sure what happened. I don't remember. Some, I don't think we... We didn't misread it at no, all. It somehow... Something, something happened. Yeah, okay. Back to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
on the combo symbol um, mm -hmm. with the kandimata underneath? Yes, the, on the kandimata underneath, but the, the yeah. one above, those are two notes, and the one above is yep. the, the one, one is beat. One beat, the bottom, bottom one is half. Gorgo refuse, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. And yep. that's the one I miss. The, yep. the kandimata with the one beat, there is one beat. And it goes to half, 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 half. Mm -hmm. Yep, half, 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 And then this is where eventually you get the little flutters in there. Yeah. Every, anytime you re-articulate, there's a flutter. Or, I don't know if you call it a flutter. Yeah, it's a flutter. Or a myth. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, did you, Jeff, did you have another uh, question at some point? Yeah, but what was it? Um, did she ask her to give a piece? Yeah, I, I think I miscounted that. She ushered in peace. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. I'm not sure oh. what the problem was. Uh, and then the Lord was born of her. I, I miscounted that. Okay. Um, we have as champion the Thing that we were discussing <laughs> that could before. Be, yeah. I guess. <laughs> no more room. <laughs> uh, any other questions before we sing with the words? No, I mean, that's, that's actually pretty straightforward. It's not like a lot yeah. of weird stuff. Just just a lot of stuff in a short. Yep, you know, yep. It just keeps on coming. You don't yeah. have time to like process it. You just gotta have it. Yeah, you gotta know it. Uh, okay, so we'll do it slowly with the words, and maybe if we have uh, another moment, then we'll do it a little, little, little faster. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nanes. 
song at the bottom of this house? Oh, okay. Where? Uh, second line from the bottom. Oh, okay. The, the, uh, oh, yeah, you got it? Okay. What, the song? Mm-hmm. The song of the bottom is? Yeah. So we are noted on Virgin is Pa. The song of the Oh, 
Cool. Any more, right, Jeff? Uh, if you, if I didn't breathe, um, since he is the Almighty One at the end, since he is the, like I think you were just about to do, and then I breathed, and then <laughs> everyone else breathed, and you didn't, and you're like, so. Um, <laughs> I know. Uh, everything else I think was fine. Um, I, I'm happy with that. Uh, I, I want to yeah, do yeah. it. <laughs> so, and, and that's a that's a, a, that's a good tempo in my opinion. Um, and if you the you like that's kind of a walking. It's not too fast of a walk, but mm -hmm. you can see them kind of walking yeah. out. Mm -hmm. um, now you just find someone to get married. Chair. I know. That'd be, great, that'd be yeah. great though. Yeah. I've never I've never I've never heard this song. Yeah. In general, well, in general, yeah, I guess it would be. A, a Byzantine chant wedding a Byzantine is not a Greek chant wedding, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not that Greek. Not just Greek, but a Byzantine chant. Yeah. Like, yeah. Probably a couple of chanters have to be married. At Ho's wedding, yeah. Yeah. when chanters get married, then you get the real thing. Yeah. Pull out yeah. all the stops. Yeah. That's, that's uh, when, we, when we had uh, one of our chanters got married, well, two of our chanters got married to each other. And then, of course, the choir did their, did their wedding. And, yeah. uh, and so then it was. It was Chandler's there, Chandler's there, and all, the, the people getting married both wanted to be over in the choir as opposed to getting married. <laughs> and they're like, oh man, they're singing all this cool music, and I'm getting married here. <laughs> yeah, and they're trying, they're, they're like, duh, uh, 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 you know, in the middle. But, uh, <laughs> like three so. choirs, really. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I went to Stelios Conduct. Right, right in the middle. His yeah. wedding. Ah. In Greece. Yeah. And the, all the chanters of Greece were at that. It was just like. Really? Wow. I couldn't believe it. My but Stelios used to do um, mm -hmm. St. Sophia. Mm. And he moved to Greece to Tinos, you know, oh, okay. the Protopsaltis. Oh, okay. And he got married in Greece. And 